Hi, I'm Joe Alvarez. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. In this segment, I'm going to talk about window extensions for the second time. I'd done this prior. Now we're actually going to add something to it because unfortunately, sometimes we do learn from our mistakes. What we showed you a couple years ago when we did our window extensions is on platform frame that works very well. But at work, one of the guys actually did it in a balloon frame house and it didn't work so well for him. What ended up happening is he had to cut that center two by four to actually make the window weaker, all right? What's gonna happen here is we're gonna make still our same cut that goes down and then we're gonna come over and make another cut that goes down. We're making relief cuts. On platform frame, that's gonna cause this to be the loose tooth and it's gonna fall in or out, whichever way we decide to push it. Under a balloon frame type house, what's gonna happen is our two by fours run past that sill plate. So it's not so easy. When you make those stress cuts, you still have the stability of that two by four. So you, you either need to break the exterior sheathing away from that, but that two by four is still there, or after you've done it and you find that there is an issue, you need, now need to take your chainsaw and you need to cut across the bottom to get rid of that middle support. Okay, what you've just seen is we've actually taken the stability out by doing what? Cutting where our window sill is, all right? Right now, what's happening is the only thing that's supporting is, is our two by four that's toad nailed in to our floor where the platform is. So whether I push out or pull in, this will happen to go whichever way I want it to. But what we did was because of the type of, of house that we're working on, we actually this isn't gonna work so well. We did it on purpose. So now what the firefighter's gonna need to do is he's gonna need to take his chainsaw, he's gonna need to go in and cut across this bottom to give us a complete cut. Okay, as you can see, what ended up happening is we had to cut across the bottom. And the reason why is we have this set up so it's almost like if we were dealing with a balloon frame home. Now if I pull this in or push it outward, it actually comes down and we've actually just made this window into a door like we have done in prior segments. The other thing you guys need to keep in the back of your mind is we were using a homeowner's chainsaw. We all have them in the fire service. We use them for cutting down tree branches and so forth. It drives me crazy when I see firefighters using that type of a chainsaw to cut through a roof or to try to cut through building materials. We did use it today because that was what we had. You got to you have fire service equipment to do fire service jobs. It's really that simple. I'm Joe Alvarez. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.